Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. So let's get into it Aquarius. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you all right so let's see what's going on uh so off camera when i was shuffling there's somebody who just can't get over you for whatever reason and it might just be be because you're over them you're not giving them any uh attention energy um you've kind of taken your emotions out of the situation here you may still have a love for them but you understand that something just can't be or they're not in a place where they can be what you need them to be. All right, so let's see what's going on for the Aquarius. We're going to start with love here. All right, let's see. Secret love child. Okay, so some of you could have a secret love child. There's somebody else who had a child on you. Or the relationship that you engaged in with someone was very secretive. Um, it wasn't out in the open. It wasn't um, a full-on relationship where, you know, you guys are boyfriend and girlfriend. It could have been obstacles in the way in terms of why you couldn't be together. Um, someone was keeping you a secret while, you know, publicly being with someone else. Let's see. Yeah, Mean Girl Club. So maybe there was somebody here... Um, Somebody was really mean to you, especially if you are a masculine. Um, I'm sorry, I'm getting so many emails. Sorry. Um, especially if you are a masculine uh, Aquarius energy or it was like same sex. Somebody is mean and maybe they even conspired with someone else to kind of um, play you, play you for your money. Um, somebody is also very possessive. They want to control you, or they were very controlling, or someone is controlling here. Um, this person didn't want, somebody also knew about the secret relationship. So you could have been in a secret relationship, Aquarius. And then if this person had another person, they knew about you, and they were, were uh, kind of conspiring against you. Maybe um, this could be gang stalking also online um this could also just be looking you up this could be calling your phone this could be harassment altogether maybe they they got other people to engage in this with them one more card i just saw jealous of you okay so this person was jealous of you jealous of you and the connection that um jealous of the connection you and someone else had let's see what this is about I, wow, can't make it up. Jealous of you came out against spoiled, rotten children. So um, Aquarius could have a child or children with someone, and the person that they were with is still jealous of the the ex, <clears throat> ex-wife, um, baby's mom, whomever. Somebody is jealous here. Somebody uses the children to get to your person because they're jealous of you or vice versa. This is what you do or... There's children here. There's somebody jealous because there is a child with um, the desired individual. And so they use the children to kind of pull that individual away from you, Aquarius. This person could be using maybe even women in the family to try to kind of gang up on you or um, just make your life hell or just cause drama. Um, this person is de definitely jealous of you. They think of you, 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 you. It's all about you. This person could have, they want to have a child with your person. This is a different story. Whomever your person is, whether ex or current, they wanted to have a child with them. Um, but now all they do is kind of like gang stalk you, follow you. Um, everything is you. Uh, just definitely um, checking up on you. And they're mad because maybe you have a child with this person. They're jealous of you and they want this child. Some of you engaged in a secret relationship here. You could be jealous of the person that they have children with. Um, there's so many different scenarios here. Wow. At the bottom of the deck, somebody doesn't want children. This is what I was getting to. Somebody wants a child. 
the desired person doesn't want a child. Okay. They may have, may already have a child and, or children they don't want anymore. Okay. Um, so somebody, okay. So Aquarius, this is getting real confusing, right? If you have children with somebody, an ex, whomever that ex is with, they're jealous of you because you have that person's children or child. You might not even want that person anymore. They're not on your radar, but whomever they are with, they conspire against you. They watch you. They stalk you. They check up on you. Um, uh, definitely just spying all together. They may even like get other people to spy on you. Uh, this person wants a, a, a child with your ex or your current person. Um, however, the, the cards play out, but it just seems as if, yeah, somebody doesn't want children. Somebody, okay, so then if you are the side piece here, if you are engaging in that secret relationship, uh, that person's main person knows about you and they are kind of, you know, checking up on you, maybe even sending black magic, all kind of stuff your way, or just, you know, the evil eye, just, you know, um, just ill wishes your way. Um, your person probably doesn't want children. You have a child either with this person or maybe not. Um, this person is in love with the side person and this, the, and the uh, main person is mad and jealous. Okay. Um, yeah, somebody's saying, look, let's run away together. Somebody definitely wants to take action here. Okay. So it just seems like a big <sighs> drama filled situation, which I thought we would not get any of that because a lot of my Aquarius have definitely moved on from that energy. So let's see what the Sabilas have to say currently. What does they have to say? Lord. Okay. So this is somebody who's arrogant. Um, this is someone who is, um, they could be like, you know, the boss, the homeowner, uh, they have something over you or vice versa. This is you Aquarius. You have something over them. You could be the business owner. Also, someone looks at you, you have the power, you got the red pants on. Um, so, uh, this could be the desired person and then there's the Aquarius and then there's someone else, you know, or, or vice versa. This is Aquarius they have a person and then they have someone else. So get in where you fit in widower. Yeah. Somebody just can't get over you. So this is, says a, a sad, um, a sad, lonely man. It speaks of a man. So I don't know Aquarius, if you left this energy behind and somehow these cards here fit in years type of situation, this person is pining over you. And that's why their person is the mean girl club because she or he, whether it be same sex or whatnot, they know that you, their person still is in love with you. Okay. And wants to run away with you. They can feel that energy and they know that your person is, um, you know, um, grieving over the loss of you, the loss of that for some of you it could be loss of life. Some of you could have lost your father or an older gentleman in your life. And then this is also loss, uh, you know, um, loss of grieving, the loss of a relationship. There's a sad, lonely man who is, um, doesn't know how to revive this. And there might be no re revival here. Like somebody doesn't want it. Uh, Aquarius, this could be you. It could be someone else. Somebody is, um, practicing kind of like, um, abstinence, being very pious, uh, just maybe even studying religion or, or is being religious about, uh, sexual activity. They just are not engaging in it for whatever reason. Uh, this also could be some of you trying to manifest in, in terms of, you know, retention. I mean, this card can go to so many different things. This could be a sexual repression too, You're holding back for whatever reason. You may have some taboo, uh, desires, uh, fantasy thoughts. And so you could be holding back. Um, some of you are just, uh, being very, you're the chaste woman. You're just not engaging in sexual activity for whatever reason. And it's for your own reason, but it also may have something to do with spirituality, religion, or, or you just being religious about, um, who you engage with sexually. And, and, uh, right now it's no one.
doctor. Yeah. Some of you also are going through therapy. You're going to therapy. Okay. Or you're going to people who can help you fix emotional or maybe even physical um, ailments within yourself with a doctor card or someone needs to see a doctor. You feel like somebody needs help. Uh, I heard black snake moan. Okay. I'm not even going to get in there. Yep. Constancy. Okay. Um, yeah, you feel like somebody needs to talk to somebody or you need to talk to somebody because with, with constancy, it says that, um, you know, if it's, if things are going well, then they'll continue to go well. If they're going bad, then they'll continue to go bad. It's just no change here. Something has been constant or consistent for a, a period of time. Um, the only thing that would change that is maybe outside influence mediation, yeah, a gift coming in to you, Aquarius. Uh, very nice. And we're in the holiday season if you celebrate. Um, so th that could be, be you, you know, getting a gift or buying gifts or giving a gift, um, thinking about gifts. Um, let's see what is this about. Yep. Somebody could be thinking about maybe gifting you something with the prison card. Um, they are in prison in their mind, firstly. Um, they could feel trapped, too. And, like, they just don't see a way out. Some of you are going to get a gift from the universe so that you can get out of a situation here that has you uh, pacing in your mind. Most times when you are in that energy, it's about money. Um, this would be about love, the widower, and this this card, the prison. Most times when you're in that energy, especially coupled with the gift card, it's like about money. It's about possessions. It's about uh, her repossession. Okay, whatever. I'm not going to even go there. Um yeah, um, some of you are going to get a gift or someone is going to gift you something. There will be a gift from the heavens or, or some, you know, person who will come into your life as a gift, um, maybe to get you out of this stuck situation. Let's get one more card here. Wow, fortune. So it looks like the universe is definitely going to give you a gift of good fortune and money because uh, they see you here in the prison card. Just don't know how to get out of this. You don't know where it's going. Uh, wow, this is going to give you a new start, too. This could be a pregnancy child here. We do have secret love child here. Then we have child again. This could also just be a relationship. This could even be sometimes uh, signifies reunion. Maybe somebody that you, this boss up here, you're going to re reunite with. There is somebody who is still in love with you, wants to run away with you. Off camera, I got the card of can't get over you. Maybe this person is trying to figure out how they can gift you, you know, um, this money or how they can incorporate you in their life to where you can now partake in uh, their riches, their fortune. Um, all right. So let's see what is the advice for the Aquarius. What's the advice via the butterfly oracle cards for the Aquarius? It, okay um, memories okay memories keep you stuck to tied to a certain individual here um, wow okay all these cards for love. you need to maybe you need to take the lead and volunteer um, maybe how you're feeling what you're thinking about what you want to happen here uh, moving some of you could be moving your body through a new exercise routine Moving, some of you, this would be physically moving. Um, now, you could be moving away from somebody, but this card talks about a physical move, you know, a residence, also of a, a job. You could be moving into a new role, a new position here. Um, some of you, you, you need to get a better housing for your children or you want to with the parental care. Wow, finances, definitely. You need the finances. They need to be better gracefully aging. Some of you need to learn how to be better with your finances. Religion and spirituality couldn't make it up when we had the priest card. So some of you just need to learn better habits, routine, um, wow, decisions in terms of your money um, and how you spend it. I don't feel like you have a problem earning money, bringing in money, but you do have a problem cultivating, thriving, growing your money. So for some of you. And um, it's just about um, what you do with it when it comes in. Um, and some of you are going to get finances to move. Um, it could be also in regards to your children. Let's see. Let's 
close this out. Okay, these ones are coming out with it as well. Yeah, some of you were the other woman or there is another woman in your dynamic here. Yeah, spiritual. Yeah, Aquarius, it just looks like if you were the other woman, you walked away from that situation because you understood that this was to grow you. Or if you were the other man, this was a test, okay? Spiritual growth. Not normally do people grow spiritually when things are just great, hunky-dory. There's no need, right? Because things are great. You know, uh, you wake up just feeling great. Everything's great. You look at the bank account. Things are great. Um, but when there is adversity, um, controversy, um, drama altogether, there is a an opportunity for growth to happen. That plane is flying really low. Um, there is an opportunity for growth to happen here. There may be a lot of things distracting you, Aquarius, at this present time. I think because you are like on the, you're in a place of ascension spiritually. You're finally getting it, whatever your it may be. Union, yeah. Some relationship was meant to grow you. Um, it's a tight bond. There is a connection here. And maybe you even wanted to marry this person. This person wants to marry you, Aquarius. Mature man. Could be someone who's going bald, gray. Has a lot of life experience. Maybe has already done the relationship. Maybe even marriage thing. Um, they have a lot of passion for you. They want to have some passion at night with you or time with you. Um... It's a spiritual union also, you know, um, there could have been some soul ties made here. Um, and maybe that's why this person can't get over you. They're still in your energy. You're still in theirs. Uh, give it some time, Aquarius. Um, just give it some time. All right. Someone is saying, look, I have found the one that my soul loves. Somebody is like so in love with you. This is crazy. You are spiritually connected to those you love. This is wild. Um, it's just that I don't know if you feel the same way anymore, Aquarius. There's somebody, now that you have withdrawn, gone the other way, this person wants to come towards you. And it could be a situation of, you know, too little, too late, or too much, too late. I don't know. Uh, peace comes within. Do not seek it without. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Life is great. It's a great big canvas. Uh, throw all your paint. Throw the paint on it. You want... Okay. <laughs> Life is a great big canvas. Throw all the paint on it. You can. All right. So get out there and create the life that you want for yourself, Aquarius. There's somebody just like stuck on you. Like they just can't... They just really... Yeah, some... Okay, this one that came out. Some of you need to get out here and create more money, more opportunity because you feel like you're underpaid at work or whatever it is you're doing. It's just not enough, okay, for some of you. Um, let's see. And then lastly. Okay. Hurt people hurt people. Let, that, let it sink in. All right, so maybe you were dealing with somebody who was already hurt. And all they could offer you was hurt, right? If I only have hot dogs in my home, which I do not, um, and you come over and you're hungry, what can I only serve you? Hot dogs, right? So if there's only hurt, pain, suffering in my heart, what can I give you? Hurt, pain, suffering. You know, it just is what it is. We just can't get around universal law you know if, if it's the only thing the person has then guess what you're gonna get so anyway this one's i can't talk after 8 p.m sorry so some of you need to get more rigid more religious and whatever it is you're doing you need to set uh time frames uh goals for your accomplishments some of you are dealing with somebody who had you as the third party and they they, wow, and I, it flew out onto the floor, hiding several secret aff affairs from you. Yeah, so somebody is in that energy where they have other people, they had other people, and uh, they were, you know, rigid about their schedule. Who they, who were they going to talk to today, the next day, and how late they could stay on the phone? 
Um, th- this person is crazy about you just because you withdrawn. I love everything about you. They do mean everything. This is, it's almost obsessive to the point where it's, um, it's not scary, but it's concerning. And maybe that's why that doctor card came out because it's like, you see, and, and it's displacement also. Like you might have been obsessive about this person, obsessive about the relationship at one time. You saw you weren't getting what you wanted. You walked away. Now um, you're, and now, and you're walking away. You're in that energy of how they used to be. They used to be kind of nonchalant, you know, neutral about you, right? And uh, now you're neutral and nonchalant about them. And now they're obsessive like you used to be. So it's just displacement here. I don't know, you know, because think about it. If you go back to this person, right, and you start this up again, and maybe there is a, you're showing this person attention and love, affection, then will it, you know, will displacement happen again to the point where now they're going to be neutral and kind of just, nonchalant against you you know it's so it's just it seems like a game here this person doesn't know how to maintain a relationship they don't know how to maintain their emotions um yeah that's what i'm getting here all right so aquarius i hope it resonates um I do know that you have a big gift uh from the heavens coming of uh, money fortune it could be coming by way of another person or maybe you have things in the works and talks um, there's some masculine energy who's going to help you get this thing, whatever it may be. Now, I'm I'm picking up like lawyer, uh, mediator, somebody, you know, advocating on your behalf. So they could be helping you get this thing. All right. Aquarius, do know that I do a live show every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, 930 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I do have tarot classes if you want to learn tarot. Uh, the link will be below. Also, I have the Amazon wish list if you want to buy something for the channel, which I just got a gift. Um from uh, off the wish list um uh so so thank you to that person um you could buy something for the channel it's not it's and it's for the channel it's not for me believe me i'm not gonna have you buy me an air fryer you know but um so anyhow uh, take advantage of that if you want to and aquarius yeah it just looks like money is coming fortune is coming by way of the universe or another person so let's drop some uh some fortune uh, emojis in the comment section here because um, it looks like things are going to turn out well for you where you're going to have a new start. And if some of you are moving, I want to uh, drop some houses down there because some, some of us need new houses. We want to expand. We want to sell a house, buy a new one, drop some houses down there. Let's manifest corporately. Let's bring in that energy corporately. Drop some money down there uh in the comment section some money emojis and also some houses because we did have the moving card here so thank you aquarius many blessings to you take care